So I'm getting ready to do the zodiac sign Aquarius. And this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they are attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or in the future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. We'll see what do we have for Aquarius. So you have, I'm leaving. So somebody is leaving behind a um, situation. Or this just could be a mindset. Something that they feel like that have not served purpose in their life. It has only kept them indecisive, stuck. This is someone who wants to apologize, apologize for how they treated you. They feel like the way that they treated you, you didn't deserve. They've actually cried about this. Whenever they think about how they treated you, it hurts them to the point where they cry. Now, they could have treated you a certain way because somebody told them that you were dating someone. If they were, if this is someone that was interested in you. And they were going off of, you know, based off of what someone else told them. Yeah, so they could have ghosted you. This person disappeared. This is someone who definitely needed to get a um, gain some type of mental clarity. Like they needed to see the truth about something, some type of lie that was told to them. Yeah, they miss you. This is someone who has a lot to say to you. They feel like nobody compares to them. They've been fantasizing about you, looking at pictures of you. So if this lie was some, supposed to make them get over you, move on from you, not be interested in you, it did the total opposite. It has given them inspiration and they only want you. Now they could have tried to get in other connections and none of these people compare to you. They have not met one person that compares to you. You have transformation. So you could have went through some type of transformation that has inspired them to go through a transformation. Yeah, new love. You have happiness. They found out somebody lied to them and this was because they were envious. Somebody lied out of envy. They didn't want them to be happy. They didn't want them to manifest new love. If they were leaving behind a situation, they didn't want them to leave behind a situation that did not serve purpose. Could have been blocking them off from being able to gain abundance, growth. You have federal case under investigation, chaos and conflict, financial lacks. So somebody was dealing with some type of um, federal case that created a lot of chaos and conflict in their life. And if somebody did this out of envy to like make sure that that person was in a position where they would lose, they would be stressed out, they would be overwhelmed, this person would lose a lot of money, it caused a transformation. You have your protected. So this is definitely something that you were protected from. Yeah, they found out you're their twin flame. You've always been their love interest. You have role model. They view you as someone that's a role model. Someone people look up to. You have Pisces. 
So one of these people could be a Pisces, this person, they could be a Pisces, whoever your twin is. Yeah, everything backfired. Whatever was done out of envy to like keep this person going through a lot of chaos and conflict, it backfired. Like somebody could have lied in a legal situation to have somebody fight in a federal case. And they thought this would keep this person um, unhappy, stressed out. emotionally overwhelmed but it helped them to see that they needed to change their life leave a certain mindset behind certain people behind Yeah, the Ten of Swords. This was definitely some betrayal. Somebody close to this person betrayed them. Could have been a Gemini or an Aries. But this is definitely someone who has went through a transformation. They've ended out something that um, they realized needed to end out. This could be somebody that they worked with because you have the eight of pentacles and the three of pentacles. They came together to work with this person doing something and this person betrayed them. somebody that they definitely um supported They felt like if this person came towards you to collaborate with you, they would be way more focused. This person would grow. And whatever they were doing with them, you know, it would just be interrupted. But they feel like you're someone that has your own stable foundation, stability. You work very hard. Um, you're very supportive, very giving, very kind. And they felt like you and this person coming together, you would be able to build the 10, the 10 of Pentacles. Which would lead to the hair font, a committed partnership. So it was like they got inside of this person's head, told them, hey, I heard this person was dating someone or something like that. And this was to make sure they could keep them away from you. Yeah, but somebody is still moving on. It's like they're more determined now with the chariot. They've overcame whatever this betrayal was. And they're moving on with their life. This is someone who feels like they can face anything after going through this ten of swords. Yeah, somebody don't know what to do. So this could have backfired to the point where whoever, you know, lied or did something to have them fight in a federal case. Now they're caught up in some type of case. Like, yeah, this backfired. You have the seven of swords, the two of pentacles and the king of swords. This went right back to this person. And it's like once they got in this legal situation and they were, you know, trying to fight to get out of something that they did not do. They started blocking people off, being very defensive, very guarded. They had gained a lot of mental clarity. And they knew it had to be somebody that was close to them, that betrayed them. This is why they got so guarded. 
It's like they could not trust whoever these people are anymore. Yeah, this is the person that lied to them about you being in a relationship with the Four of Wands and the Two of Swords. This person is in regret because everything backfired. Whatever they felt like they would do to keep you and that person from getting in a connection or a partnership, it was rejected. Somebody is ready to have a physical connection with you. There's been a lot of physical distance between you and them. Yeah, they're realizing that they have real feelings for you. They're also realizing that whoever the person is that lied to them about you and betrayed them. This is somebody that don't care about them. This person don't have any love for them. Um, this is someone that just didn't want to see them happy. Yeah, they would rather see that person sad. And they weren't going to give that person the satisfaction. So they kind of got very guarded. If this is someone who used to come around their house a lot, they didn't want that person around their house anymore. Or they just didn't want to be around them anymore. This has definitely helped them realize their worth or see their worth. And they're getting ready to take a courageous leap of faith. Now, they could have been scared of the way that they felt about you in the past. And um, they're no longer in fear. It's like they're releasing fear as well. They could have went through a bad situation. Like a relationship where, you know, it was hard for them to trust again. And they needed to see their worth, even if the other person that they was attached to did not um, help them see their worth. Yeah, they're getting ready to take a leap of faith because they're no longer fearing manifesting new love, being in a relationship, being happy, getting in a connection and actually having equal give and take. You and this person, if you went through a transformation, they have went through a transformation, there's a magnetic pull between two people. They were definitely in a karmic cycle dealing with third parties that was keeping them like um, blocked off. Keeping them in a certain mindset that was preventing them from getting on the right path and moving on, moving forward. This is someone who wants to have a bond with you. They want to get to know you. As you and this person get to know each other, you discover many things in common with bonding being here. So there could be a lot of things that you and this person have in common. Could be a lot of different things that you've went through, this person have went through, that you can relate to, they can relate to. Yeah, it's like you're manifesting the one. This person is manifesting the one. Um, this card says very soon your true love will arrive. So this is someone who is definitely being guided back towards you. You and this person complete each other. And they feel like you and them are the perfect match for each other. 